Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I'm going to be showing you how in under five minutes, you can be up and running with your own WordPress blog. Now, a blog is very similar to a website to where if you're doing anything online, you need to have your storefront online and a blog is a great way of doing that. And I'm going to show you how to do that in less than five minutes. So we're going to be utilizing our hosting service, which is Bluehost. You can choose whoever you want to host your specific blog. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Bluehost because they have a one-click install for WordPress and you can literally be up and running and publishing your first post within two to three minutes. And you also get a free domain name plus a special price if you use our link here in the description. And again, a disclaimer here, it will be helping me out. But again, you'll be getting something out of it as well. So I do want to let you guys know that. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go on over to Bluehost.com. And basically what Bluehost is, is just a hosting platform platform that's going to host all of your pictures, videos, whatever you upload to your website. You got to have a back end in order to host that. And if you use our link there, you're going to be able to start off with a $3.95 a month plan, which is basically pennies on the dollar when it comes to creating your blog and website. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do after you go to Bluehost, after you click that link is select the plan here, the special price plan, $3.95. And then once you're there, you'll want to then be able to type in your domain name, make sure it's available. So type in whatever you want your domain name to be. So put your domain name here, okay? Whatever that may be, you know, whatever your business name or whatever you want your blog name to be, you will then enter that here. Now, if you've purchased a domain name on GoDaddy, HostGator, another one of those places where you may have purchased a domain name, you can type that in here. And there's a step-by-step -step process that walks you through how to transfer that domain name over to Bluehost and start your blog. Again, that may take six, seven minutes. And then again, you're up and running. And then once you have typed in whatever you want your domain name to be. So let's just say we want it to be something like this here. Click the next button there. And then once you've done that, it'll tell you if the domain name is available. And then you'll just fill out this information, create your account, type in your payment information. And then once you've done that, you'll be redirected after you've purchased the hosting plan to your C panel or control panel. And it'll look like this. All right. So once you're logged in again, after you fill out that registration form, you'll be redirected to the control panel. It'll look like this. There's a newer version that looks like this here. Once you click on the newer version. And then you'll want to click on the button that says install WordPress. So your domain name's already set up. So it's as easy as clicking the button here that says install WordPress, wait for it to load. And then you're going to see something here that says do it yourself. Don't worry about all of these big numbers down here. Click the do it yourself, the green install button. You want to install here. We're creating a brand new blog. So we're clicking the, the button there that says install and then select the drop down menu. And because you probably only have one domain name here, basically what that's going to allow you to do is just leave this the same. I've got a bunch of domain names. So I'm going to click on one of my domain names there and then click the check domain option there. It should, it should take maybe a few seconds to check the domain. And the next thing you're going to see is something that says last step, you're almost there. So basically you click the green check that says I have read the terms and conditions and then click the green install now button right there. And then literally you just wait maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And then you'll see this page here that says, okay, we're setting up your WordPress site for you. It shows you a nice little beautiful progress bar in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Again, takes maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And then once you're done, you'll see this page here. And once you're finished, you will then be provided with your username and password to log into the dashboard for your new WordPress blog. And make sure you write that down somewhere, put it in Evernote, make sure you want to uh, have your credentials whenever you log into the back end or dashboard of your WordPress blog. And then you'll want to basically just type in that username here under username and then under password, whatever the password that they provided you was. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So we're gonna go ahead and type in the password. And then once you've typed in your password, click on the blue login button there. So click on the login button and then voila, you my friends are ready to go. Now, in order to access this login screen here, basically it's going to be whatever your URL is, .com slash WP dash admin. And then you'll be able to log into the back end. And the back end here is going to be where we post new posts, new blog posts. And then if you want to install a theme, basically you'll just go to appearance, go over to themes. And then themes are either free or paid. You choose which one you want to use. I'm using one called 
called Thesis, but you can go here and click on any of the ones they provide for you or go to add new theme here and you can actually search the different themes that are out there, whether they're free or paid, whatever they may be, and then go to popular, latest, favorites, whatever they are. And then in order to install a theme, you'll just click on the theme and then up here, you know, it says installed for that one because that one is installed for me, but you'll see a blue install button in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Click that button there and then once that theme is installed, you will see it under your themes panel here. And then in order to activate that theme, all you got to do is hover over it and then click the activate button here. You can even preview it with a live preview on your WordPress blog or website. And then when you're ready to post your first blog post, go over to post, go to add new. And then once you've clicked on the add new button there, you're going to see something here that says add new post, type your title, go ahead and put your description under the description section, do some SEO work down here, apply a category and tags, and my friends, you are off to the races with your new WordPress blog. If you have any questions on how to do this, put those in the comment section below. I always love to interact with you guys and help you out in the journey. Again, use that link down below for a special price and a free domain name. I hope this helped you out. If it did, help me out by clicking that like button down below, share the video with your friends and families, and I will see you guys in the next one.